Did the hydrothermal blasts of 2024 and 2025 stir the ancient supervolcano that once outmatched Mount Street Helens? Yellowstone National Park beneath its serene landscapes, roaming bison, and steaming springs has always harbored a vast and restless engine of heat. For decades, the park's roiling hydrothermal basins have been reminders that this world-famous landscape sits atop one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth. But in recent years, two dramatic events have rekindled global curiosity and concern. In July 2024, and again in May 2025, Yellowstone witnessed powerful hydrothermal explosions, steam-driven eruptions that hurled mud, rocks, and boiling water skyward. The blasts were sudden, violent, and spectacular, and for many viewers, they raised an unnerving question. Could these explosions be the first whispers of the supervolcano awakening? To answer that, Scientists have been digging deeper, both literally and metaphorically, into the forces that drive Yellowstone's hydrothermal and magmatic systems. And in doing so, they've uncovered a story millions of years in the making. One that connects the park's shallow steam systems to its ancient volcanic heart, and to eruptions that dwarf the 1980 Mount Street. Helen's Blast. A summer morning of violence the July 2024 blast. On a strangely calm morning in late July 2024, the tranquility of Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin was shattered. Without warning, Black Diamond Pool exploded. A plume of superheated water and pulverized rock blasted nearly 200 meters into the sky. The ground vibrated. Shockwaves rippled across the boardwalk, splintering wood planks like matchsticks. Tourists scrambled, cameras rolling, Rangers rushed to secure the area. USGS geologists were on the scene within hours. Initial findings quickly ruled out the public's worst fear. This was not magma. Instead, the explosion was driven by suddenly venting steam. Steam trapped just tens of meters below the surface, sealed beneath layers of mineral crust that had built up over time. Deep below, nothing had changed. But near the surface, pressure had reached a breaking point. The aftershocks of a shallow giant, May 2025. Nearly a year later, in May 2025, a new webcam overlooking Black Diamond Pool captured another event, a smaller but spectacular burst of boiling water and mud. This eruption was not as violent, but it was part of an ongoing pattern. The basin was still adjusting from the 2024 blast. Hydrothermal systems behave like plumbing networks under pressure. One rupture can cause weeks, months, or years of rerouting, sealing, clogging, and unexpected releases. And this one basin was still not done speaking. Hydrothermal explosions. What they are and what they are not. Hydrothermal explosions are among the most dramatic natural events in Yellowstone, yet they are fundamentally different from volcanic eruptions. They do not involve magma. They do not require rising molten rock. They do not indicate a volcanic system preparing to erupt. Instead, they happen when groundwater superheated by magma miles below becomes trapped in rock or mineral lined cavities. When pressure becomes too intense, the system ruptures like a boiler tank bursting. These events can fling rocks the size of refrigerators. They can reshape landscapes in seconds. Some ancient ones carve craters kilometers wide. But they are shallow. And crucially, hydrothermal energy is not equal to volcanic awakening. The supervolcano beneath Yellowstone, a sleeping giant. Yellowstone's volcanic system is enormous, far larger than Mount Street Helens, Krakatoa, or any other recent eruptive system in the United States. 
three colossal eruptions, 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago produced calderas tens of kilometers across. The largest was more than 2,000 times larger than the 1980 Street Helens eruption. The ancient volcano didn't just defeat Mount Street Helens, it dwarfed it. But that same enormous system now sleeps beneath nearly 50 kilometers of crust, filled mostly with mushy, partially melted rock not a ready to erupt magma ocean. Recent scientific discoveries have added new clarity. The magma cap discovery, a lid that breathes. In 2025, scientists revealed one of the most important Yellowstone discoveries in decades, a volatile rich magma cap located roughly 3-5 kilometers below the surface. This cap acts like a pressure managing lid, allowing gases to escape in a controlled way while keeping deeper magma insulated. Rather than acting like a pressure cooker, the system behaves more like a breathing lung, slowly releasing energy through fumaroles, geysers, and hydrothermal vents. This discovery strongly suggests Pressure buildup in the deep magma chamber is not increasing. Gas release is happening gradually, not dangerously. The system is more stable than previously thought. This means even dramatic hydrothermal explosions do not wake up the magma. The shallow water system and the deep magma system are related but not coupled in a way that allows small surface events to trigger massive eruptions. So, did the hydrothermal blasts awaken the supervolcano? After two years of monitoring, data from the USGS, University of Utah seismograph stations, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and GPS, satellite measurements all say the same thing. There is absolutely no sign that the supervolcano has been awakened. No new magma movement, no unusual ground uplift, no increased gas output, no abnormal earthquake swarms, no deep deformation. The hydrothermal explosions were energetic, shallow, surface level events. The geological equivalent of a pressure valve clicking open, not the awakening of the ancient titan below.